financial literacy is a really, really tough thing for most people, not just women, but people in general. So it's that acknowledgement of like hard stuff leads to growth, despite the fact that it's really painful sometimes. A troublemaker probably a little bit in high school when I was the student council president and I was always trying to run fundraisers and get kids involved and care about things and getting high school kids to care about things is not an easy task and I always remember being disappointed by their lack of caring and for me always being like why do they care um by the way we've experienced that recently with our abortion advocacy but I, dig I digress um, but I think the real kind of evolution happens uh, when I was on Wall Street. I was uh, on the foreign exchange desk for many years, and uh, there were actually a, just a decent representation of women in the room um, on that desk and on all those desks in that industry. And, and I always really felt like they weren't trained properly and mentored properly. And I, I made it kind of my job to any young woman who would come through the analyst program to kind of take her under my wing and um, not just mentor her, but actually train her, train her to do the job the way I've always been trained to do it and and, and make sure that she, you know, did the job really well and got, re got recognized for that. Um, and it had mixed, mixed bag of emotions from the senior management on whether or not they thought that that was appropriate for me to do. And I didn't actually care. So, um, but I just, I kind of very early on realized that that was an important thing for me to do um, was to help these women at, in the early on in their careers. I actually uh, didn't know I was a troublemaker when I feel like mine was more of an evolution. I um, was always a rule follower my whole life. Um, Kristen and I laugh about it all the time, but I, I still am a pretty much rule follower. I didn't think you could be both a troublemaker and rule follower. So I was on the, on the side of the fence of rule following. Um, I think in my twenties and into my early thirties, I kind of started to evolve into a person that, that I realized I like was running towards the fire. There are a lot of people who run away from the fire and and I just find that like, I want to deal with the problem. I want to have an uncomfortable conversation. I want to say the hard thing so we can get a better um, end result. And you realize how many adults want to avoid it. And, um, and I wanted to typically do it to like help people. It was usually grounded in kindness or fairness or equality or something that was not just about, it was never about me. It was always about like, how can I solve this? Um, so I wouldn't say it happened overnight. Uh, definitely didn't happen overnight, but I, woke up one day and I was someone who would cause a stir if it was for other people, if it was a, for the, in the, for the, for the greater good of an organization or a person or an event, I would kind of start to ask tough questions that people don't, people don't always like, you know, I have, uh, in my twenties and thirties, no, I'd say more in my thirties and forties, gone through uh, several different professional and personal challenges and issues and, you know, real kind of challenging times. Um, all the real details that we discussed in my, in my book or my podcast, but um, I would say, I just said this to someone the other day, so this is going to sound like I have it all prepared, but I just said this to someone the other day. I'm like, I really think it's like a four G's. I'm going to go with like an Oprah, like I've got my four G's, but um, how I got through it. Um, grace like I was like giving myself the grace to be human something I didn't do a lot in my in my younger years I felt like I had to be perfect so giving myself grace to make mistakes and to go through hard times um goodness surrounding myself with people who lifted me up you know we really a lot of us don't make those choices we kind of just have these people and think they have to be our people forever it's like make better choices surround yourself with people who are angels who are going to lift you up especially in times of challenge and need uh gratitude i really spent a lot of time focusing on gratitude and finding like gratitude in the things that i did have the people i had the love my own you know my own self-love journey um through gratitude and then growth i mean the truth of the matter is um 
the hardest things I've gone through have always led to the greatest like gifts in my life. Like the journey of who I've become is because of the challenges, not the, the good stuff is great, but the challenges are made what made me who I am today. So it's that acknowledgement of like hard stuff leads to growth, despite the fact that it's really painful sometimes. And so the recognition that like, this will lead somewhere better. It's just temporary. Four Gs.